Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today's lesson is graphing quadratic functions and naming its characteristics. There are actually different ways of graphing a quadratic function, but today I'm going to show you the shortest one. When you're given this quadratic function, y equals x squared plus 2x minus 4, you can use the vertex formula to find the vertex. The vertex formula is negative b over 2a and 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. Because once you know the vertex, it is easy to graph. So let's identify the ABC here. When you're given y is x squared plus 2x minus 4, this is understood to be 1. So this is now in the form y is ax squared plus bx plus c. Your a is 1, your b is 2, and your c is negative 4. We just have to plug in the values here in the vertex formula to find the vertex. So we have here negative 2 over 2a, 1. Our a is 1. Again, negative b over 2a, 2 times 1. So that gives us negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. 4ac, so 4ac, 4 times a times c minus b squared all over 4a. So this gives us, so this gives us a negative 16 minus 4 all over 4 and that is negative 20 over 4 or negative 5. There. So this is now your vertex. V for vertex. Let me write here vertex. There. V for vertex. Once you have the vertex, you make the table of values. You put the x's here and the y's here. You put the, or you write rather, the vertex at the middle. Then, you add a number, the same number to the right and to the left. For example here, you can add plus one, whatever you add, you subtract. Yeah. So negative one plus one gives you a zero. And negative one minus one gives you a negative two. Why, why, why am I adding this and subtracting the same number to both sides? Because a parabola is symmetrical to the right and to the left. So since it is symmetrical to the right and to the left, whatever is the value of y that you get here, it's the same value of y that you will be getting here. So let's substitute the value of x, which is 0. 0 in the original equation. 0 squared is 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 4. So this is negative 4. Actually, you can automatically write negative 4 here. As I told you, a parabola is symmetrical to the right and to the left, so it will have the same values of y here. For example, you're not comfortable about that. Then you can try and substitute. Let's try it here. y is x squared plus 2x minus 4. What is y when x is negative 2? So negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative 2 minus 4. We get positive 4 plus negative 4 minus 4. This is 0. So y is negative 4. There. So as you have seen here, these two values are really the same. Now let's graph the parabola. Once you have that, you can draw the x-axis and the y-axis. 
the first thing that you plot will be the vertex, negative 1, negative 5. This is, let's say, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Negative 1, negative 5 will be here. And then, 0, negative 4. This is 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. 0, negative 4 here. So, even without plotting this, you just have to, to locate here, there, the symmetrical point. As you can see, this is now negative 2, negative 4. See? And then connect this, there, you have it. And you can now identify the characteristics of this parabola. Your vertex is negative 1, negative 5. The opening, remember, A is positive 1. This is 1. When A is positive 1, it is opening up. Or your parabola will look like this, opening up. The axis of symmetry will be x equals h or negative 1. This is always hk. x equals h or x equals negative 1. This is the axis of symmetry. This line. There. This line. x equals negative 1 is the axis of symmetry. It is the line that divides the parabola into two symmetrical figures. That's why our shortcut works. Because in the first place, a parabola is symmetrical to the right and to the left. And then your range as we have learned in my other video, the range will be y is greater than equal to k, to the k value or negative 5. From here, remember this is your vertex. Your vertex here is negative 1, negative 5. So your range will be from negative 5 which is the k value, negative 5, going up. So you have y is greater than or equal to negative 5. Your domain, domain by definition is the, is the set of all possible values of x. Will always be x is an element of r. Why? As you can see, your parabola will extend up to the right and up to the left. So it will cover all the x values here. And what about your minimum or maximum value? Do we have a minimum or maximum value here? Your parabola is opening upward, so this gives you the minimum value. So the minimum value is given by your k value, which is negative 5 up, going up. So the minimum is negative 5. K or negative 5. Yeah. I hope I was of help. Before we end, we always have to remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click the subscribe button and the bell button, please. Thank you.